It's the blurry photo taking over social media and most news outlets today. This is the first picture of what a real black hole looks like. Up until now, we've only had people's imaginations to guess what they look like. It's something that excites a UT professor. He talked to Hank Kevin Arrow about what it means for the astronomy world and for the rest of us. Yeah, I, I, I never thought in my career that I would see this actually. Well, this may seem like a blurry image. It's actually a detailed picture of what a black hole actually looks like. That's pretty cool. This is Dr. Carl Gebhardt, an astronomy professor at UT. He can describe this a little better than most. So this is an image of a black hole. You have the black hole, it's in between you and I, and behind the black hole is a cloud of gas. But this is the hole. You're looking into the greatest abyss that you could ever imagine. For years, Gebhardt has been using the speed of stars from around the black hole to estimate its mass. In 2009, he said it was 6.5 billion times the mass of the sun. When I measured that mass, it was significantly higher than what had been thought previously and a lot of people thought it was wrong and so it, it was me and my team so I, had a, I of course had a big team and uh, when we put that out there uh, you know it was a little bit controversial and we've been taking some flack now man we nailed it and there are only two galaxies where we're able to do this M87 and then the one in our galaxy it's in the Milky Way, but there we have so much gas all over that it, it's confusing the interpretation. This particular black hole is considered the biggest in the known universe. Its size is the only reason we're able to see it. Even this one took multiple telescopes all around the globe to image. So that means it's not going to be able to find smaller ones. It's going to be very, very hard. It's not a surprise that the first one that has been imaged was the biggest one. So what may seem like a small discovery from one single, somewhat blurry picture, it now gives scientists like Gebhardt more doors to explore our universe. Now we can infer what we're trying to get to, and that is how black holes evolve and how they grow. Hank Kevinero, KVU News.